Hey, how is it going? YouTube, so today I'll be doing uh, installation, how to install Windows 10 in virtual machines. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, what we need to do is open up the browser and download the virtual machine. So just go into uh, virtualmachine.org, download the latest version of it, install it, all this kind of stuff. I'm sure you guys can do that, no problem. The other thing you need to do is actually download Windows 10 ISO. And to do so, we need to go into preview.windows.com and we're going to uh, go into this website. Once we uh, go into this website, what you need to do is uh, you can read more about it, like before installing this Windows into your computer or how to, uh, if you're really new into, I would say kind of Windows 8 um, and Windows 10, of course, Windows 10 is fairly new. That's what we're going to go into, but it's fairly close to Windows 8. So if you guys use Windows 8, you should be good to go. Uh, so let's go and jump into Windows Insider program, shall we? Once we do so, we need to go into Get Started. So click on that, and we need to go into Join Now link. So we're going to go, we are going to join link now. And once you do so, what you need to do is go ahead and type in your email address and password for Windows. So that's going to direct you to uh, downloading the ISO. Hopefully you have uh, downloaded the ISO. If not, just go and do that. Uh, I think it's 2.9 gigs. Now there are two versions of it. Of course, you got 64-bit and you have 32-bit. The pro I ran into a problem with 64-bit. It installs perfectly fine. Uh, and then it kind of goes and stuck, uh, gets stuck into like a black screen. So I'm going to go ahead and try out 32-bit. So let's go and do so. Close out the browser, open up your uh, virtual machine, which is right there. And we're going to create a new one. I'm going to name it Windows 10, select Windows 8.1, 32-bit, since we are going to installing 32-bit system on it. Go ahead and click Next. I'm going to assign 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, the minimum requirement is 2, so I'm going to assign 4. So let's do that and click Next. If you want to create a virtual hard drive, create VDI format, virtual disk image format. So go and do that. Next. And we're going to go into dynamic uh, location or allocation. So we're going to keep it in dynamic and not in fixed mode. You can kind of read up here what it has to say about dynamic. So we're going to keep dynamic. And uh, 25 is the default. You can, of course, uh, I would recommend going 50 uh, or 75 just just for whatever reason. If you have more storage, just do that. Uh, and I'm going to store and look, uh, actually save this in a different location. So instead of in C drive, I'm going to go into my other drive, which is backup drive, uh, which is machines, and Windows 10. That's my folder. Uh, you can again save it anywhere you like, but that's where I'm going to save my uh, virtual disk basically. So save it there and I'm going to assign 100 gig since I have few storage. Um, and go and create. So there you go. So the basic part is created. The next thing we need to do is go into uh, select Windows 10 and go into settings. And then we're going to assign a couple of things here. Uh, we're going to go into system. Make sure you enable the EFI, uh, which is uh, basically UEFI BIOS thing uh, for Windows 8 or Windows 10 now. And you also want to go into processor and make sure it's enabled PAX and NX. Uh, so do that. You can also increase the CPU on here. So I'm going to actually do it as a quad core, four cores here. Uh, you can, depending on what kind of CPU you might have, you can run on single core or you can do a dual core, up to you. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is go into display and make sure the video memory is all the way up. And that's pretty much all we need to do. There, the next thing is storage. Go into storage. We see the empty controller IDE. We're going to go into empty and select the virtual disk image. So we're going to go here and choose CD or DVD ISO, which is listed, you know, somewhere in your download folder. So in my case, I have this right there, or also I have a backup where it's on my desktop just to make life a little bit easier, and Windows um, Windows 10 X 32-bit system is right there. It is X86, which is 32-bit, 
English and US version. Just go and click open. Once you do that, everything should be, um, you know, assigned as far as your network and audio and all those kind of stuff goes. So you're going to click OK and uh, start. Let's see. Uh, put into CD. And It's a little bit larger. And by the way, meantime, this is loading. I can, uh, we can go into, let's open up Internet Explorer for right now. And um, virtual box, just to kind of give you an information. Uh, go into download. And this is what you want to download 4.3.16, which is the latest version right now. Besides that, this is still loading, so we're just going to wait and watch. All right, so as we can see, uh, Windows is loading now, um, and this should take a little bit of time. So we're going to uncapture that for right now, and uh, we should see sometime soon, maybe today. Uh, we'll be able to see, um, there you go, this is the screen I was talking about. I'll just kind of zoom in here, not that big, but let's get it this big. Alright, there you go. And uh, this is fairly typical, it's basically like installing Windows 8.1. It's fairly close to Windows 8.1, so it's um, kind of similar installation. We're going to keep everything default, go into next, install, and it's setup is starting, so then we're going to have a couple of choices where we can do um, either an upgrade or we can go for custom install, uh, which is exactly what we're going to go for. So it's still loading. Uh, it seems like it's freezing up, but it's not. Uh, it's, it's still loading. So let's uh, again wait and watch. Um, that's one of the things about the installation uh, of a fairly new system in VirtualBox. But there you go. Uh, you guys can read all the stuff when you install and uh, accept term and condition and next again this is the menu that i was talking about so upgrade or custom you can't really upgrade because it is virtual box and there is no other system installed on this computer so we're just going to go into custom uh the disk that we created the vbi disk uh, virtual disk image that we created is right there and like i said i assigned 100 gig so that's what it is here and we're going to go and click next once we do so, Windows installation should start anytime soon, which is right there. And um, this should take a little bit of time. Uh, I'm actually getting everything from SSD, and that's the reason I kind of save it here. Uh, so, you know, this is my SSD, this is my C drive. So hopefully the installation is much faster and I don't have to uh, skip over stuff. But uh, I guess we are we're going to have to. So it's 5% right now. And we'll be back as soon as it kind of restart after going through the installation features, updates, and finishing up part of it. So once we do so, I'll be back. All right, so we are almost there, and we're about to finish up uh, the installation. And uh, hopefully, it, it would uh, stop anytime soon. So once we do that, we probably need to restart the computer or virtual machine. Not the whole computer, which is the great thing about the virtual machine that you don't have to worry about anything that could go wrong potentially when you're doing all this stuff. Even if it doesn't work properly, you can delete the entire thing, reinstall it, you know, all this kind of good stuff, which is the best part about virtual disk. So we are just waiting right now. So Windows would restart hopefully again anytime soon. And uh It's forever. By the way, uh, my computer specs are basically uh, Intel i7 4790K. Uh, I'm running, I don't want to say my GPU when I'm running because I think 6670 or whatever, which is going to be replaced by um, NVIDIA GTX 970 soon as it's available uh, because it's not right now and that's the problem. And um, 
by the way, that that would be something that I would uh, I would ask for recommendation. What do you guys recommend as far as the GPU goes? ASUS, Gigabyte, MSI, a uh, few companies in mind. EVGA is also there, but I'm not really kind of happy with the EVGA card uh, for this generation 970 or 980, which Gigabyte and MSI seems to be really strong in terms of performance and overclocking. Uh, so, if you guys know more about that, please let me know. Um, and let's kind of exit out on this and restart the virtual box again. So, let me start. Sure. Let's see what we get into. We're not going to click anything because we're not trying to put into um, CD again. And, uh, okay, it's loading. Okay, that's a, that's a good start. And again, it looks fairly close to Windows 8 or 8.1. Uh, the, in the installation process was exactly the same. Uh, so as the, um, the startup screen, as we can see, it's fairly close to it and I don't know why they skipped Windows 9 but uh, that, that was kind of interesting where you know pretty much everyone is assuming that it's going to be Windows 9 and it came up to Windows 10 which is replacing Windows 9 uh, so early so that's uh, that's something weird um, let's see so first boot up time and hopefully it would work. Black screen. Okay. Let's just wait and see what happens here. This is uh, of course live, so we'll find out what exactly is going on. Um it should have worked. It's just a little difficult, but of course we did force close it just because uh, it wasn't restarting for some reason, so we'll see, we'll see. It's first startup, so we're going to give a little bit of time to it. Um, hopefully it would work. Okay, so I'm pretty much going to pause the video right now because uh, I'm not sure what, what exactly is going on. But if I do find out something, I'll let you guys know. Uh, but as of right now, we're kind of not working. Oh, 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 there you go. Hey, didn't have to pause the video. So, the device is getting started, getting all the drivers, seems like. Alright, um, guys, so I had to pause the video because the getting started part took uh, quite a long time for some reason. So, um, but uh, overall, we, we boot into Windows and uh, let's go and uh, use Express Settings. So this this definitely reminds me more or less like Windows um, Windows 8 installation that I've done many times. We need to set up your account. Uh, hopefully we have option to create a local account because uh, I'm not really gonna log into my Windows Live account, uh, which wouldn't be a bad idea, but it's just gonna take a little bit longer time. So um, just to kind of make this process a little bit faster. We're just going to boot into a basic local Windows account. That looks so bad. Okay. Uh, so to do that, what you need to do is go into create account. And we're not actually going to create account, but what we're going to do is sign in without a Microsoft account. It's just one way of kind of Microsoft trying to force you into creating their uh, Microsoft account, but just do that. And that's gonna let you to the local account. So, all right. So that's that. We're not gonna set any password on it. We're just gonna right jump into Windows 8, uh, Windows 10, Windows 8. Um, so there you go. I think it should be installing some stuff, and um, we'll find out. So. Uh, Wait and watch. I mean, it, it, as far as the installation goes, the main thing you need to kind of keep in mind is to have a um, virtual machine set up properly. Once you download the ISO and once you uh, set up the virtual machine like it's supposed to, everything just works perfectly fine with 32 bit system. With 64 bit system, what happened was once we installed all the windows, once we uh, restarted the windows, it kind of loads, uh, trying to boot up into Windows logo. You would see the logo, it would kind of spin and all this kind of stuff. 
and then you go into this black screen uh, where it just doesn't work. So that's why I have to actually go back and uh, re-download the Windows Windows 10 32-bit system. I was about to say Windows 8. Uh, Windows 10 32-bit system ISO instead of Windows uh, Windows 10 64-bit. Oh, so that was fairly quick. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm actually restarting the computer or virtual machine just to uh, just to make sure everything works okay and not whatnot. Uh, so we'll find out. Just restart it for uh, for first time. So let's see. It does take quite a long time actually for it to start up. There you go. Again, it is on virtual machine, so that's one of the things. Uh, just to keep in mind. Stuff is more refined. You definitely see that. And we just jump into desktop, which is kind of unique, I would say. That's our start menu. Okay, so there you go. Once I restart it, uh, everything kind of worked uh, worked properly now. So hopefully we can uh, we can rearrange the screen as far as the resolution and everything. It just uh, seems as generic. So what we might need is the video card. Okay, so put those video card. Let's not to worry about it. We can close code. Okay, so all the Windows 8 function seems to be here uh, as far as the device manager and all this kind of stuff. And I'll go more into Windows um, once I kind of get hang of it, once I kind of reorganize the screen, resolution, all this kind of good stuff. But as far as the installation goes, this is it. We are in Windows. We are running Windows 32, Windows 10 32-bit operating system. We still got all the tiles. We have the power option right there that we saw yesterday in, uh, in the um, show off of Windows 10. Uh, and all the basic stuff is still here as far as everything goes. A um, little bit choppier, but uh, it's going to be again just being, you know, really, really new window um, and just came out yesterday pretty much. Uh, Similar start menu as Windows 8, so looks, you know, fairly decent, like typical Windows. Many of the stuff is running. Um, so, yeah. And like I said, I'll do more in-depth review or kind of overview of Windows 10. But as far as right now, this is it. And um, if you guys have any questions, any comments, if you run into any problems, try to comment down below. Hopefully, I can answer all the questions for you. And uh, thank you for watching.